any uh, words of wisdom that you'd like to share? So I think, you know, Jan and I spoke about this earlier today. I think you need to define your strategy and your goals, break down that, that into project bite-sized chunks so that you can pivot and change. We need to <laughs> understand what our MVP is, you know, a controlled launch, you know, set, set your strategy, launch with it, learn from it, change, pivot and change, right? And look, you know, add on that from that point forward. I think they're the things I would take away. Uh, and if I may add, uh, don't be afraid of challenges, uh, problems are solvable if you uh, address them creatively. Um, and for example, one of our largest issues was the ERP uh, upgrade and we could not directly integrate with uh, the ERP, uh, which is the SAP system in this case. Uh, what we've done is created some intermittent solutions where uh, we would send, um, you know, order updates to the uh, SAP via marketing cloud or a simple email, or even in some cases, a customer service uh, manually uh, receiving an email and um, uploading the information in the, into SAP. And while those solutions are not ideal and not really long-term, it allowed us to go live and again, learn and observe and uh, uh, have, you know, gain some kind of benefits uh, um, early on in the project. Yeah. I think we should add on to there as well, Jana. You're absolutely right. Again, what was our MVP? What was our go-life strategy? If we wait for everything to be perfect, we'll never launch. So what is it that is acceptable to the organization to get us live? You know, we need to fill a gap in the industry, and that's what we did. And we did it so it was a great experience, whether it's UI or UX on the consumer or HCP side. But in the background, we did have a little bit of legwork to do, but it got us out, you know, out in the marketplace. Nobody ever remembers who comes second or third. They always remember who comes first. Absolutely. Um, and I actually, I love that. One thing that I recently read um, from actually Salesforce Mark Benihop um, was that we have to participate, not be paralyzed. And I think your um, success story is a perfect example of that. Um, regardless of external forces, you want to continue to move forward.